girl walk. Part two. We kept it outside, man. Said it. In St. Louis, bro. That's why I'm looking so rough and greasy. I'm being out here in the dungeons. <coughs> no cap. <clears throat> Traveling back to Atlanta, man. From home. Can't see. Going back today. And, uh, <coughs> my lights start blinking and stuff. If you seen part one, you already know about it. Basically, my damn, um, alternator went out because I went and got a new battery. And it's not working. I'm out here and I can walk out. So, yeah, this is the new battery I got. Got that big boy. They had a baby ass battery in there, but that's the battery right there. And the alternator right there. You see how rusty it looks. <clears throat> and they say alternators got um about a hundred and five thousand miles and my car is like right at hundred and six thousand miles, so that's crazy. And then think about uh the signs that I seen. Now look at this little ass battery that was in that purse. Yeah. I showed y'all the first time, but again. So I'm traveling, I got all my shit on me. I gotta put the TV, put the little TV and heat press. And you know, uh, vinyl and cutter, vinyl cutter. Collection of hats, I got an uh, embroidery machine in the back. You know, I can't even get in my truck because um, it's locked up. So I'm out here like that. Um, It's real cool that that gas station over there, they been looking out for a little. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shoot, shoot. Man, yeah. You know, up in here. Too nice, man. This is my second full day. I came yesterday. Damn, my, uh, the night before last night, actually. You know what I'm saying? The night before last night. I was driving <laughs> back to Atlanta. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, she started blinking. I just bought this car. I got the oil change, bought the mouse, and all that type of little stuff, you know, tune up. But, uh, who would have known that it would be alternator battery, man? Those are the things that you have to do when you first get a car. Get your alternator battery done. If it's a used car, get your alternator battery done. Especially if it's a used car, if it's not a car you've been having, you know, so, you know, check the alternator, check the battery. I saw that the battery was too small, I'm still thinking everything was cool, and I was riding the battery like it was on. And next thing you know, you know what I'm saying, shit pop up. And the battery, you know what I'm saying, like, the acid from the battery was coming out, so it is. Yeah. It went strong enough for the alternator, and the alternator was going to go out I'm still learning a lot about cars. But, um, we've basically been camping out, man, thugging it real hard. I went and got a better yesterday on the bill, so I tried to get an alternator with a cab driver in the car. And I spent 27 on a cab driver yesterday. I had to get another cab in a minute, so I had to get this clock. And, um, when I go, there, uh, they try to see what's going on, but you know, we're with this alternator, just gonna be another hundred four dollars. The battery was 175. I'm not trying to be on this video forever, you know, I'm trying to keep going, but my battery really dead on my phone because I don't ran my battery out trying to charge it a little bit yesterday, so I'm in, I'm in the 20s, you feel know I me? Mean? So I'm gonna pause this and I hope it gives me a I'm gonna call the cab driver when I get off the hand, see where he's at, and hopefully we be good enough to see the full video. I'm not, um, I'll, I'll make another clip for y'all. So, um, this will be it. I'm gonna call the cab driver.